Hello, further to uh, my story earlier about Nazrat uh, Ghani, the MP who had a, an interaction with the Whip's office um, after she was sacked. Uh, and uh, it certainly seemed to be extremely Islamophobic. Uh, it now turns out there's a very interesting story which was run by Tom Harwood. This is a fellow uh, who was being mocked a little by Alex Belfield. Um, and I must say Tom Harwood is always worth, in my mind, he's always worth his weight in gold. He always seems to deliver interesting up to date and um and uh, a sort of nuanced comment and um even if one doesn't agree with somebody one likes to have an opinion um and, and in fact in some ways i rather i rather enjoy people who have opinions that are not mine um or 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 even uh, people who have opinions that are mine that's probably even more satisfying but uh, but if somebody has an opinion which isn't mine then i have nothing further to add i suppose uh, but anyway tom tom uh, ran ran a story earlier this afternoon saying that uh, nazrat ghani um had actually raised these issues in 2020 just after she'd been sacked she raised the issues directly with boris johnson himself uh, and he expressed serious concern and invited her, specifically, to begin a formal complaint process, which she subsequently didn't do. Now, this seems to me to betray two things. Number one, that her timing now is decisive. And it appears, frankly... Um, well, it appears, frankly, vindictive, and I find that rather sad. Uh, but secondly, secondly, Boris and the um, denizens of number 10 have said uh, that um, there is no evidence of any bullying by the whips. Uh, this is clearly incorrect if this issue was raised a year ago. Uh, this issue, at least, of intimidation by the whips was known by Boris, if not by the whole of number 10. So that briefing, uh, that they have no evidence, is blatantly false. Equally, um, Nazrat Ghani has waited until a particularly pernicious time to reveal her story. Well, of course, she's a politician. Politics is about waiting until... Uh, the right time and having the right word, the mot juste. Um, so I suppose, I suppose it's her, it, 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 it's her right. It's her right. And she's chosen a time to make very interesting headlines.